Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Nandita Palshetkar, practicing infertility for the last 25 years. I am attached to the Fortis Bloom IVF Center at the FMRI Gurgaon. Over the last 25 years, I have treated thousands of patients and a lot of them have been from all over the world. In fact, I think the Africas, the Middle East, the Far East, as far as even New Zealand. I was very pleasantly surprised when I was holidaying in New Zealand. One couple actually came to me and they said, Doctor, this is your baby. So I think our reach is everywhere. Lots of people come from America and UK because remember one thing that we are offering the same technology that you get abroad. We have been the pioneers in the field of infertility. If you see even the technology which was launched for the first time in Japan as recently as 1918 has been for the first time installed in India with us. So we have a cutting edge technology where we can offer our patients the best treatments. Infertility is not only a disease but it's a social problem also and most of the people afflicted by it are in a lot of mental stress and that is what we need to treat. Today the success rates of IVF have become very good. In fact, the cumulative success rate, that means we say success rate from 3 to 4 attempts at IVF is nearly 90% in a good prognosis patient. So what is a good prognosis patient? Remember, if you're young, you have a good ovarian reserve, that is the serum AMH, and the male factor is not very bad, these are good prognosis patients. A lot of patients we are treating in North India of PCOD, that is polycystic ovarian disease. These are the patients who don't produce eggs and a lot of them require IVF and the success rate in these patients is excellent. There are another group of patients where we need to do hysterolaparoscopy. That is a simple surgical technique, it's known as keyhole surgery, where we put in the laparoscope and diagnose a lot of problems. In fact, laparoscopy and hysteroscopy is used to even treat a lot of problems like fibroids, endometriosis, adenomyosis, any ovarian dermoids. And hysteroscopy is a very important tool in IVF. Hysteroscopy is putting the telescope into the womb of the patient. And this is very, very important because you, the womb is where we are placing the embryos. So we need to see that the womb is healthy. Because if the womb is not healthy, IVF results will not be good. So in our unit, we have made it a rule to do hysteroscopy, especially in patients who have had one IVF failure. The other technology that we've introduced is IMSI. It is especially used for those patients who have a male factor. What is a male factor? That means the husband is responsible for the infertility. Either the count is low or the sperms are abnormal or the motility is low. In all these patients, we can get a fantastic pregnancy rate using ICSI and MC, and which is available with us. Another of our specialty is zero sperms. You know, patients who have absolutely no sperms, we go into the testes, isolate the sperms and give them a baby. These are some things of our USP. And if a patient comes from abroad, I normally tell them to come for one to three months minimum. Because in that period, we can try two or three attempts if they come for three months. But yes, a lot of people come for one month and we can do the IVF, we can store their embryos and they can come back when necessary. I think today the world has shrunken, we become global and if you're getting the same treatment with the same quality at one third the cost, I think it's worth coming to India. And today India has become the hub of medical tourism because we are offering very good facilities, very good technology and you all know that as Indian doctors we are very very skilled. In fact, one of our patients, uh, I can talk about her, is Miss World, Miss Diana Hayden. We had frozen her eggs for social reason. At 34, she came, she froze her eggs and she had a baby with the same eggs at 42. Remember, this is a fantastic example because it tells you that we are skilled enough to freeze your gametes and give you a baby after 5 years, 10 years. And we're doing a lot of patients like that and we would really like to welcome you into India and to avail of our services that are available here.